not out talking about partisan politics and violence and division, devastation. Not now. Luckily, we got two little boys from New York who recently reminded the entire country what love and friendship is all about. Watch this. So beautiful. Now, those are two-year-old Finnegan and Maxwell, their best friend. My friend. You and they could not contain their excitement to see each other. Both boys and their dads are here, and I can barely contain my excitement to see them. Welcome to the Van Jones Show. Maxwell and Finnegan and their dads, Michael and Dan. Van Jones Show. Uh, look at that. Uh, hey, little guys. I can't. Come on up here. Little peoples. Hey, look, they got like free toys. Yeah, we got some toys for you if you want to. Give a round of applause to these people who brought so much love and light. Hello, little person. How are you? Uh, you want to talk about the tariffs? Oh, probably not. <laughs> uh, so, uh, for, listen, uh, these guys are, are best friends, is that correct? Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about how they became such good friends. So um, we have a favorite restaurant in our neighborhood. Um, we both live about a block away from it. Um, and one day we, we were finishing up our, our brunch, my wife and I, with Finnegan. Um, and they uh, came in and asked to sit at the other end of the big table. And so we just got talking because um, we had kids. And, and then uh, our favorite servers knew them and they knew us. And so um, before we left, we got their phone number and we hung out definitely later that week. And then we went up to their country house. Uh, wait, wait, what are you saying? The helicopter? Yeah. <laughs> um, can you say so, hi for me? Can what you say hello? Truck? Hi. A fire truck. A fire truck? I'm freezing. You're freezing? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, you want to say it again? Oh, he said, he said, he said I'm Finnegan. Fin um, yes. So let me ask a simple question. Do they know that they are famous? I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think so. We were at the airport and the TSA agents all recognized them and it's, it was just... Yeah. Uh, it's just been very, very odd seeing you know walking around with with a, to a toddler that's uh, yeah, super yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird that they get spotted on the street and yeah. people ask for photos and and you're just like wow like why, just... why do you why do you think they they have struck such a deep chord in this country right now? I don't know. I just think with the climate of the country and you know the world really uh, with all the hatred and racism and uh, you know just the the angry uh, the anger that's going on right now between everybody and just to see just maybe a little hope for the future, uh, a little inspiration. Um, you know, this is how it should be, and you know, and it's not, which is sad. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely said to, to some people that I, it's kind of a shame it went viral. I mean, I love that millions of people love both of our boys, um, and I love sharing that, and you know, it's, it seems to have made a, a lot of people happy. Yeah. But, but this should just be normal. We got, it should be yeah, normal. Exactly. Two, two beautiful kids yeah. like each other, they yeah. play. And, and they were uh, just being themselves. Like, they hug all the time. Like, it wasn't anything, <laughs> yeah. you know, they hold hands walking down the street, and they dance together, and yeah. they get in trouble together. Yeah. <laughs> You're a teacher? I'm a teacher. Uh, You're the teacher? I'm a teacher. And, and what did your high school students say when they, uh, this all happened, and this suddenly became one of the biggest videos in the world? So they all said, oh my god, that's your son? I've seen him. I, and, and then we, we had a really good conversation uh, about it. So I, I work at a school that's... Um, that is Finnegan. That is. Yeah. Uh, he said, he said, that's Finnegan. Hmm? I, worked at a, I work at a school that's themed around the idea of social justice. Yeah. Um, and I think most of my students, if not all, would identify themselves as students of color. Um, and so we had a really good conversation uh, on that Tuesday that it really went viral about why did it go viral. And they said, well, because it's two kids hugging. I said, is it? Is that why it went viral? And they, you know, we talked about it a little more. And they said, well, uh, it's because it's a, a black boy and a white boy hugging. Why is that, you know, why is that such a big such deal? a big deal? Right. Yeah. And so but but it, it really really is from a parenting point of view How important is it to, to go out of your way to find you know kids from different backgrounds that type of stuff? Was that something that was a value of yours? It just happened to, to be that way? It just happened to be that way just really happened. like it, yeah. it wasn't like I mean not for us anyway I mean we we met at, at a restaurant called La Kayla and we just really had a uh, a connect like we bonded pretty much you know it's hard to find parents that have the similar likes that you do yes. with, with kids that are the same age yeah. so you know honestly they didn't know wait, wait, wait. they weren't really friends it's going too far <laughs> <laughs> like don't sue oh, him. <laughs> that's awesome what message do you have uh, to you know, right now you've got the spotlight on you uh, people are watching all around the world all around the country what what message do you have as a dad and do you have as a dad for people in these times to show love to one another, just yeah. to, to be nice. I mean, we, we didn't try to try to get our boys to do that. We didn't try to 
Um, it wasn't about race or, or, or any other thing. It was just that we, we like them, they're our friends, they're friends, mm -hmm. and, and that's really it. And that's really all it should be about. I mean, it shouldn't matter anything on you know sexual orientation, color, religion. Just, it just shouldn't matter. Like this is how all children should be raised. Again, and, stay here, but you know, hatred is taught, and these these. And so boys. is love. Yeah, hatred is taught, and so is love. Give it, give a round of applause to these beautiful, beautiful kids. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate you having them here. Yeah, you guys can clap yeah, for yourself you for as well. Beautiful.